Welcome back to the channel everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So we gotta get to the bottom of this. We got some explaining to do, right Mojo? Good boy. All right guys, so we got to go over some stuff with you today. Um, if you guys caught the very last video, you seen Mr. Mojo over in uh, livestock guardian mode. He was over there laying by our goat Shadow. She just had two babies and uh, Mojo was trying to get our attention because something just wasn't right. So he laid there with her and laid there with her. And uh, you guys seen the video, one of the babies wasn't getting up at all and the other one wasn't being, it wasn't acting normal. So we got some comments on that video and I'm gonna kind of go over some stuff about what took place and what we did and what we didn't do so i'm gonna come out here in the field where it's nice and noisy with all the animals what you know yoshi huh here stick your head up here I can't touch you. all right let's go in here mojo you coming i don't have your food right now but you can come on in here come on come on mo. you want to come or are you staying out come on Come on in here, you're a good storyteller. He's like, I don't know uh, what you want me to say, Dad. You need to have no food. So, um, I'm just gonna go come out first and tell you guys that both, both of those baby goats that was born in that video, they passed away just probably about six hours later um, than I made the video. Shadow is running around here somewhere. I just seen her. I don't know where she's at now. But anyways, I'm gonna kind of talk about what happened and uh, some of the things we did and didn't do. So Shadow had those babies laying right here, and uh, you guys seen Mojo was laying right there with her. And that's you know that's not abnormal for a livestock guardian dog to sit right there and kind of observe and kind of guard the mama while she's having the babies help clean up the afterbirth and all that to get the scent away so the uh, predators and such don't come along. So, um, on some of the comments, we've had a few people say that was they were pretty upset with us, saying, I can't believe you didn't pick up those babies and take them in your house and do this and that. Well, we've been doing this about, I don't know, we've had a goat farm for about 18 years or so. We've been through a lot of trials and things that we've done good and done wrong and we've learned from our lessons and one thing I've got a stalker here follow me one thing I've learned over the years just because mama has babies and she's not um, like taking a lot of interest in them right off the bat you don't just pick them up and especially you don't take them in your house now the weather wasn't that bad or nothing like that. It was pretty mild outside, it was sunny. You gotta give the mamas time to dry off those babies. So we had some people mad in our comments saying, I can't believe you didn't grab those babies, you didn't start feeding them, this and that, didn't dry them off. Well, that is the job for the mama. That is part of the bonding that the mama has to do. This is Shadow right here. You okay girl, are you upset? So that's Shadow, you guys can see her. She's kind of laying out here in the sun. And uh, of course the noisiest animals on the whole place are following me around. It's almost feeding time, not quite. But anyways, um, I'm not making this video because the comments upset me. It's just because a lot of people out there think they are know-it-alls and know everything you do with certain animals and stuff. And uh, you know, that ain't always how it works. So basically number one rule when, get out of here Yoshi. Number one rule when you have uh, baby goats born, don't just grab them right off the bat because the mama needs to bond with them. You know, she needs to do her thing, get their scent and all that, know that they're her babies and just pretty much bond with them right off the bat. And uh, get out of here, go. He just keeps circling me. Don't know what he's doing. I think he thinks I got a feed bucket, but I don't. So anyways, that's one thing we don't do. And um, even though that baby was, it was obvious that baby needed help, you know, I kind of checked it out and everything. It looked like it was born a little bit early. Um, that's what I'm thinking was wrong is these babies were, for some reason, Shadow had them a little bit early. So we didn't mess with them right off the bat. We gave her time <clears throat> to bond with them. She was cleaning them up and all that type of stuff. 
but after a couple hours we came out here and she was just pacing back and forth on the in the pasture and she didn't have a lot to do with them like she was going up to them and licking them and stuff but the babies just wasn't responding much and i could tell something was not right with the babies so me and rachel came out here we got the stall ready got fresh bedding down with straw and everything on the floor got the babies in there they were at this time they were already dry she already cleaned them up but the one baby you guys seen that was laying there it never would hardly stand up on its own at all but um we got her moved in there got the babies in there uh rachel and i we milked some colostrum from shadow and we started to bottle feed the babies and they were they weren't really reacting to the bottle you know we tried to squirt some down they were getting in their stomach and everything but they just weren't acting right and this isn't the first time we've had babies like that we've had them a couple times before um, like that but anyways uh, we tried everything we could shadow it, it's not her fault i think shadow knew something was wrong with those babies and that's why I don't know I'm not gonna say she she really gave up she just knew that they didn't stand a chance I think and I want to say Mojo probably could sense that too and that's why he was just sitting there with them I think he knew something was going on that wasn't normal so um, you know the mamas usually always know best like I said shadow is one of our more experienced mamas she's never ever had a problem kidding she's never abandoned kids nothing like that she's always been a great mom so i think there was just something else going on that we don't know for sure i think they were just maybe premature or something now uh got them in there started feeding them and all that the colostrum they just wasn't acting right so uh you know we just kept checking on them made sure they were warm and all that gave her fresh food water but you know we come back out to feed them a couple hours later and they just weren't doing well at all and they just they passed pretty quick so i don't really know what was going on but mojo he he was out here back and forth he, he kept going up there where they were born he was smelling the ground he kept coming up to the barn wanting to know how they're doing and even today this morning he kept coming out and checking on them and uh which at this point they were already gone but he kept he keeps going up to shadow and checking on shadow and everything it's like he knows that she's upset he's a very smart dog he said thank you dad i know i am yep you're a very smart dog and you're very caring for your animals right you did everything you're supposed to do so good boy yoshi why do you keep making circles around me huh? but anyways guys I, i'm sure i'm forgetting something i just wanted to kind of address the people that uh left some of those comments and some of the people that left those comments i just blocked them off the channel because we don't we don't tolerate any of that stuff we got too many good subscribers and viewers that leave awesome comments and support us we don't we don't have time to argue with the know-it-alls that's probably never even raised a goat in their life so uh everybody's out here they're getting hungry the sunshine feels really good we got some cold last night it got down to like the 20 upper 20s and uh mojo said it feels great i don't know what you're talking about dad this is my weather right here i'm a polar bear dog a lot of people think i look like a polar bear from a distance yep you got a lot of fur a lot of you got a lot of fur a lot of insulation hey yo nang what you know girl you ready to go get your food yeah i'm pretty hungry dad it's cold and uh i'm ready to play all right so let's go get your food you want to go out with me <coughs> go ahead go race skeeter and you can see there if you've caught the last video skeeter had his little toenail messed up come here skeet come here come here show him hey everybody he said i'm back to pretty much 100 percent running and playing around again doing all my sh sheriff deputy uh job around here sheriff duties all right go check out everything make sure everything's all right <sighs> so uh i'm gonna go get some food um so today is a special day uh today is rachel's birthday she's uh as old as i am again we're only like 11 months apart I'm, I'm a little bit older than her but today is her birthday so we're just standing around the house today celebrating her birthday i'm fixing to go in here in a little bit and cook a pot of some venison chili and uh got some more good news gave you guys the bad news first but some more good news uh 
Kaya got her first buck this year. She actually got it um, about a week ago, and I just forget to uh, update you guys on that. I'm gonna throw up a picture right here of Kaya with her buck. I think it was an eight pointer, if I remember right. And uh, she was super excited. So uh, we're gonna use some of her, the meat from the deer that she harvested and make some chili tonight for uh, Rachel's birthday. So she's uh, super excited to be able to help provide meat or to help provide the meat to uh, help fill the freezers for our family. Um, you know, we cook a lot of uh, stuff that we raise, but then like the wildlife, like the fish and the deer meat and stuff like that, we uh, eat on that all year long. So it is uh, super, super helpful to have that, especially with today's prices in the grocery store. So I'm gonna grab some food and we'll head back out here and uh, we'll go check on Shadow again, just make sure she's uh, doing okay. I think she's just going through a little bit of depression. Um, I'm sure you can understand any mama that's a whether you know human or animal whatever Anytime you're carrying babies or whatever and then something goes wrong like that of course it's got to be detrimental and uh, Emotional so we'll, we'll kind of baby her a little bit and uh, just keep checking on her and make sure she's okay Get some chickens out of the way Hey, sure You're supposed to escort me and get these chickens out of the way get the roadblock out Come on. All right, there you go. Tell them to get out of the way. <laughs> he said it's feeding time. We ain't got time for chickens and roadblocks. You can still get your food. All right, Skeet, let's go feed Mojo. He's waiting on us. Come on. All right. So, uh, although it is cold, like I said, got down in the uh, upper 20s today, got a strong north wind today, the sunshine feels really well, uh, feels really good. And uh, one thing I've been noticing is Cora, you guys know the story on Cora, she should be pregnant by now, Fred, whatever you want to call it. She's made a new favorite place to sleep over there by the hay bale. You guys see the hay bale back behind me that the goats have been eating on. Well, some of it falls on the ground and makes a nice bedding area. And that's where Cora has been sleeping a lot here lately. So we got to get all that ready for puppies because that'll be here before you know it. Well, you know, sir, he's like, I'm just enjoying the sunshine, Dad. You know me, I like the cold weather. Sunshine warms me up really nice. You ready to go eat? Well, I ain't gonna turn it down. Come on, let's go. He said, let's go. Let's go, lead the way. Don't knock me down with your tail. You're such a giant dog, right? You're a giant dog. Oh, put your food up here. So the, uh, Chickens don't eat it all. And hopefully the wind don't blow the uh, camera down. It's a little windy today. <laughs> you birds are the only ones with long enough necks to reach it. And of course those. So he's got to, has to get hurried. Let me in there. Let me in there. Shadow, are you coming, girl? Takes on the shadow, she's not coming, so. Come on, Come on, Come on, on shadow. He's obviously. There you go. Her some food. Make sure she's all right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, let's go take her some food real quick. While everybody else is eating, you guys can see her laying over there in front of the barn. Come on, girl. So Shadow is getting older, guys. Um, goats can live anywhere from 10, 12, 15 years. It's not uncommon for them to live that long. Oops, sorry, girl. Come here. Come here. I got you something. Come here, Shadow. Come here. There you go. Make sure, make sure you're eating. I know she's eating mineral because she has it all over her face. You okay, girl? Huh? I'm sorry. I think she's looking for her babies. The bucket's empty. I don't put it all in your bowl. Here. Come here. Right here. Come here. Are you not hungry? Oh yeah, she's eating good. So like I said, we'll just keep monitoring her and uh, you know, there could be something wrong with her. Um, we might end up just having to take her to the vet because I am not, I am not a licensed vet or a doctor or nothing like that. We've just been raising these goats for uh, several years, like almost 20 years. And uh, we've seen a lot of stuff, but we still don't know everything. And uh, you know, we still make mistakes as well, but a lot of times, when you got animals and they just continually having problems and stuff like that then sometimes you got to step up a little bit and take them to the vet and uh i hate to be the one that has to show you guys the bad stuff and i'm not calling this a failure on our part there's nothing that we could have done different that would have saved these babies i think mother nature just stepped in for whatever reason they were born early but uh one thing we do try to show you guys on our channel I know other farm channels and other homesteading channels, whatever, are a little bit different and you probably won't see stuff like this on a lot of channels, but we try to show you guys because let's say you're a new goat farm and you've got three or four or five goats and they're all mamas and you have one or two that has babies like this and they don't make it. A lot of people's going to get upset and they're going to give up because they're going to say, you know what, this is, we did something wrong and uh, this just isn't for us. You know, things happen. Nature happens, this happens out in the wild with deer, with all kinds of other animals. And some things are just out of our control. So the only thing we can do is give our animals a happy, healthy life, feed them good, make sure they have structure to get out of the weather. And uh, you know, we don't like keeping our animals in little confined pens. We like to think they got enough room so we don't have too many animals in one pen, you might say. So that's all we can do is give them good lives and keep them healthy and happy and uh, sometimes you just things like this happens and it's just uh, it's upsetting it's very emotional but uh, we like to share it with you guys no matter what if it's good or bad so um, you know we've been doing YouTube for like five years now and uh, it's not always rainbows and butterflies especially when you have farms when you have a farm and you got this many animals there's there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of good but there's gonna be some bad with it so she followed me out here and uh, she's still She's still out here eating, so she's she's not feeling a hundred percent. I'm guessing that she's really depressed and she's been up all night trying to find her babies and stuff. So we'll just keep coming back and checking up on her, making sure everything's okay. All right, Mojo, can you keep an eye on her for me? And if anything's out of normal, come get me. You know me, Dad. I got I got you, man. I'll do that. Shadow's my girl. All right, well, I'm gonna go feed Cora and Lisky and check on the donkeys, okay? I'm coming. Hey, girls. Coco. And to James. So the girls have been sleeping in their house. We'll talk about that here in a second. I think one of them is trying to talk. Oh, where's my dogs? There they are. You guys are so camouflaged, I didn't even see you, Cora. I didn't even see you, pretty girl. How's it going? Huh? Hold on, let me get these goats fed real quick. 
put their food up here so the chickens don't knock it over. But of course, hey, Skeeter man, what do you know? What are you doing? What are you doing, Cora? How are you? How are you guys? Huh? All right, chickens, get over there. You guys already ate once. Come on, goats, get in the barn. Are you trying to talk, Etta? I heard that. She's trying to discover her voice, I think. All right, goats are fed. Dog's turn. Dog's turn. Cora and Leesky should be parents here soon. If you guys are new or haven't caught some of our uh, recent videos, uh, Cora and Leesky just recently bred, and uh, according to that date, if she took and everything was good. She should be having puppies around January 20th. I don't want you to wait that long, but you just never know. Here you go. Good boy. So like I said, uh, she's due about January 20th. Rachel and I are new to the puppy world. We've never raised dogs that's had puppies. So we've got a lot of stuff to cover um, coming up soon. We've got to get busy on uh, building a pen and building like a whelping area for her. And a lot of you guys, a lot of our awesome viewers here that watch our videos, you guys have been telling us that we need to try to uh, keep Leesky separated from her and the puppies whenever they come. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. And uh, like I said, we learn a lot from you guys making these videos just as much as uh, you guys learn from other YouTubers. We always learn from our viewers and the people that leave the comments. Um, you know, just like I was talking about all the uh, goat experts. Uh, we're always learning, even though we've been raising goats for like 20 years, we're still learning new things that we use all the time here on the goat farm. And a lot of it is through the comments on our videos. So thank you guys so much for leaving me uh, comments. I know Hedda and Coco said, where's my treats, Dad? Here you go, girl. Pretty girl. Hey, let me set this camera up. I can't, can't quite hold it. Set this camera up. Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, go back, go back, come on. Go back, come on. Okay, let's dump your bulls out before it feeds you. Oh, there's a pretty girl. Peter, you just want to get in here and pet them pretty donkeys? You be nice to your sister. Why do you, hey, why do you have your, why do you have your ears pinned back? You just, you just barely got my skin. Coco's turn. Coco's turn. You can't steal that from your sister. Here. I was going to try to hold it while you ate it, but I don't want you to nip me again. Hey. Alright, Coco, last one. You ready? Oh, yeah. Coco's the gentle one. She's gentle. Why can't you be gentle? Huh? Here. Here. Hey. Look. Here, Coco. Eat, your own, eat from your own bowl. So the donkeys are doing good. Um, everything seems to be going okay. We're new to donkeys as well, but we're learning, doing a lot of reading and stuff. And uh, I told you guys a couple videos back that it was raining out here the other day and the donkeys, instead of getting in their lean-tos, they were standing underneath that tree right there by the hay bale and then underneath the cedar tree. So they were standing underneath that trying to protect yourself from the rain instead of getting in their house, well then they finally got into that lean-to over there because they were over there kind of browsing around for food. But then the last couple nights I've noticed they've been staying in this lean-to 
and uh, that's where their hay is that one has a bunch of uh, straw for bedding so they should be staying nice and warm they have a place to get out of the rain out of the north wind and uh, they can lay down they can stand up in there whatever they want to do but so far so good with the donkeys and we really enjoy having them they're quite the characters she's sassy yeah I'm gonna start calling you sassy she's not aggressive or nothing like that she's just she's got her own little attitude I don't know what to say about it but anyways um uh guys thank you so much for watching our videos like I said I hate to be the bearer of bad news but sometimes things just don't go the way we always want them to and uh we try to show the uh whole truth here on our channel whether it be good or bad and sometimes it's bad and uh sometimes it's our mistakes and sometimes it's mother nature's but we try to show you guys so if we do make a mistake someone else can learn from it because uh i know we've learned a lot from watching other people's youtube videos whether you know we learn from someone else's bad mistake or something they did right so uh i encourage you guys to leave a comment and uh just just uh say whatever you want to say but just be nice and uh you know people try to tell us hey i can't believe you did this or you didn't do that you're horrible i'm gonna subscribe well that's your that's your right you can do whatever you want but you know we try we try to do things the best that we can and we pride ourselves on taking care of our animals the best that we can so uh is what it is and don't forget um if you haven't caught a couple of our last videos we do have t-shirts for sale we are doing a pre-sale at this time it's a pre-sale only so uh, we're only going to order whatever we get a pre-sale for i don't know if we're going to order any extra so if you guys are wanting a certain shirt make sure you get your orders in the pre-sale ends december 3rd i'll share the link down in the description below i'll pin a comment with the link to the t-shirts we have had a uh, overwhelming response on the t-shirts and uh seems like most people's favorite is the security hhf security the three dogs t-shirt and uh it's a cool shirt and so is the goat skull one but anyways go check them out if you guys are interested and thank you guys so much for the support we really appreciate it i hope you guys are staying warm and uh we'll catch you on the next one